In this Blender quick tip, I wanted to talk to you about the spin tool. And uh, the spin tool is useful for many things, but in particular when you're making something like a pipe. Uh, you can use it for making the curves of the pipe. You can use it for, for placing the bolts around it. So let's just, let's just do something real quick. Uh, I'm going to bring in a cylinder. I'm not going to worry about how many vertices I've got. But let's just set, turn on the move tool and uh, let's scale this in the Z a little bit like that all right so let's say let's say we want to curve this pipe nicely over to the right so what I'm going to do is press 3 and select that face and shift S cursor to select it bring my 3d cursor there and I'm looking from the front and what you need to do is with that face selected I'm going to press N and I'm going to come up to let's see is it item view here where it says 3d cursor I'm going to move that along the X. So I'm just going to grab here and I'm going to pull this to the right a little bit. So let's say I do something like that. So it's in line here. I moved it to the X and to close that. So with that selected, I'm going to scroll over to the spin tool and that's this thing here. It looks a little bit like a pie with a piece taken out. Click that and then find the axis that will allow you to rotate in a circle. So you see if I, if I hover over that, uh, you can see that it would spin it in a circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click and I'm going to start pulling. And I'm going to let go and I'm going to open up this menu that shows up. The thing that you want to deal with is the number of steps which is all of these segments. Now you may not want that many. Let me try six first of all. That might be a little bit more reasonable or maybe eight depending on how smooth you need it. And the angle and I started here and I want to go 90 degrees. So I'm going to type in 90. Uh, let's try minus 90. There we go. And now I can just come back and click on maybe this thing here. And I'm out of the spin tool and I've done that. And now I could say extrude a little bit further. So I've got a nice curve on my pipe. Let's do that again. Let's say this time, I'm going to look down from the top. We want it to curve out this way. So with that face selected, shift S, cursor to selected, look down from the top, press N, and now I'm going to move my 3D cursor in the Y direction. So I'm going to pull this, and if I go the wrong way, like, wait a minute, I could go that way, why not? I'm just going to pull it down a certain distance, close that. With that selected, my 3D cursor there, I'm coming over to the spin tool, and let's see which axis I need. That's the one that's going to make it go in a circle pull it out and if I go too far it doesn't matter I'll stick with the eight steps but now I'm going to just choose 90 and you've got that okay I could take that and I can extrude it now and I've got my pipe going in multiple directions now the other thing I can do is I could put bolts so let's say I take that face and I shift D to duplicate and scale it up I'll break it out P to break it out let's say I take this and I'll just pull it out to there and I'm going to extrude it back let's say I want a connection there that's actually a little bit big but let's say I do something like that all right and let's say I wanted to put bolts right here going around it okay let's see if I can shade smooth this and maybe I'll just get rid of this bottom face here just to make it a little bit nicer and this face in there all right so we got that I can even take this and maybe I'll select this face and this face and I'll give it a little bit of a bevel so we'll just get it a little smoother like that okay and by the way I should check to see my face orientation because this one's backwards so I'll just flip that all right we are ready to go so we want to put some bolts around here you know ideally you would have another section of pipe maybe I better do that so let's take this and shift D to duplicate it and pull it out now this edge right here, is it straight? Eh, it looks pretty straight. Maybe what we'll do is we'll take this and I'll duplicate it so that it looks like there's two of them. There we go. And maybe we'll put the bolts right there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is select this face and bring my 3D cursor there, first of all, so it's right in the middle. And I'm also gonna use this face to make that bolt. So Shift D to duplicate. I'm just gonna pull it straight up and I'll break it out using P and then I'll scale it down make sure that it's going to fit scale it down some more and pull it out and let's just make something let's just come back I'm gonna get rid of that back face and I'll take this and I'll bevel it 
and that's pretty good alt n we copy it inside okay so let's make this go all the way around okay so my 3d cursor is right in the middle in this face so what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to go into edit mode and select it i'm going to come up here and switch this to 3d cursor and i can look right from the front so my pivot point is at the 3d cursor so if i was to go r you see it'll rotate all around the circle so we want to duplicate this so let's go over to the spin tool find the axis we need that's the one grab it and pull it and you can see i'm getting copies let go i'm going to choose use duplicates and i'm going to want it to go 360 degrees and then just up your count to what what you want so maybe i'll go for 12. now when you do this we're going to get some some extra vertices so go a to select them all m merge by distance and look down here we got rid of a lot of vertices so you don't want to leave those and we now have our bolts going all the way through and how are we doing there we go okay now if i wanted to i could take this and this and i could join those and then i could take the whole thing shift d and i could take it and i could uh i could rotate 90 and i've still got 3d cursor on so let's go back to median point and just drag this in somewhere and you know i could have it there you'd have to adjust the position pretty good because you got those bolts there and you want to make sure that it looks equal on all sides but you now have that all right so there's a couple of things that you can use the spin tool for